Hi friends, how are you? In this awesome lecture, we will learn together how to configure Amazon simple email services to start sending emails today. So stay tuned and let's start together. Since you are here in this video, I am sure that you know what is Amazon SES. But just in case, in a couple of seconds, let's explain what is Amazon SES. Simply, when you want to send emails, when you want, when you want to run email marketing campaigns, you need an SMTP server. This SMTP server is responsible for sending your emails. Very nice. You can simply use Google SMTP as an example, I mean Gmail. You can use servers like SendGrid, like MailGun, like Turbo SMTP, whatever service you want. In Amazon, we have an SMTP service called Amazon SES or Simple Email Service. Very nice. So in this lecture, we are going to learn how we can configure Amazon SES to start sending emails today. Before we start, you need to know that you need a domain name in order to go with Amazon SES. Okay, friends, so here we are inside Amazon Web Services. If you don't have an account, please sign up and continue with me. I don't want to waste time now signing up an account. Click now my account. I will go to AWS Management Console to sign in. I will enter my password and log in. Okay, friends, here we are now. Simply go to services here and simply search for SES and you can find the simple email service. Click on it to open the SES management dashboard. Okay, friends, the first thing you need to do is to add your domain to SES. So simply click on domains here and Click verify a new domain. Simply enter your domain. Let's say my domain is h-y.me and click generate DKIM settings so we can add DKIM values and click verify this domain. It will give you now some records to add to your DNS zone. Okay, let's now go to GoDaddy and click on my domains so I can add these values. I think the idea is somehow very simple. So here I am, here's my sample domain. Just click here and click manage DNS. It is the same concept if you are using any domain provider. So here is my DNS management zone and here is the records for my sample domain. Let's go again and now you need to add this text record. Always copy everything except the domain name. So we'll get this as an example, copy and then go here, add a text record, paste the host name and then get a text value, copy it and paste it here. In the same way, let's copy a DKIM record so copy everything except the domain name here and create now a CNAME record. Let's wait a little bit. Simply say add again. Now select CNAME and enter the host name. CNAME because simply this type is CNAME here. Just copy this value and paste it here in the same way and do this for all records. We have here three records. And if you want to set the MX record, also you can set it here. The MX is the email server record for your domain. After you set this, simply click close and your domain will be verified soon. I did this before for my domain. You can see this sample domain, cactico.com. The verification is verified. The DKIM is verified and it's enabled for sending. That's it. You need to add your domain and wait maybe for 20 minutes, half an hour. So AWS or Amazon will verify your domain. Very simple. So that's it for domain verification. Let's now remove this domain because I have already added my verified domain. After verifying your domain, you will be able to send 
only for verified email addresses here because you will be set in the sandbox let's go to sending statistics here i will go to other region us east and you will notice by default that you are set in the sandbox you can only send to verified emails and only 200 emails per day so to unlock this limit simply request a sending limit increase click on this button here and this page will open you can see you can select the mail type just fill up this form your website if you have one fill up these requests and click submit please describe why you want to increase this limit and so on and click submit and maybe after 24 hours to 48 hours amazon will reply and open the limit for you you can see here in my us west oregon i opened the limit so now i can send around 50,000 emails per day you can see 50,000 email remaining so it's very simple just add your domain submit a request to open the limit and after 24 hours or 48 hours amazon will open the limit for you you have a limit of 14 emails per second and 50,000 emails per day now you may be wondering about amazon ses pricing what's nice about amazon it's almost the cheapest smtp or email service in this planet if we go now to amazon ses pricing you can see that we can send around 1000 emails for only 0.1 dollars this means that we can send 10,000 emails for one dollar we can send 100,000 emails for $10. Really awesome service. Maybe you may tell me that I can't afford this. I can't pay every day $10 for 100,000. Now, after we added our domain, we opened our limit, we need to get the SMTP settings or credentials that we are going to use to send an email. How to do this? simply go here to smtp settings click on this and click create my smtp credentials simply now click create here click show user smtp credentials and here we are let's open notepad as an example to copy these credentials this is the username and this is the smtp password very nice now you need also the port and the host where do we find this simply let's go back here and click on smtp settings again you can see we can use port 25 465 or 587 and this is our server name just copy it here is our host name and the post you can use any of these very nice so this is our configuration and this is our smtp settings okay so save these and you can use now in any email marketing software like mailwiz mailster sandblaster whatever you are using to send emails please check the description below i have tutorials about mailwiz mailster and a lot of other free lectures about email marketing you can find in the description below so let's go now minimize this and let's see what we have here we can see the sending statistics i showed you this before you can see deliveries rejects bounces complaints you can see how many emails you sent per day we can go to the reputation dashboard and see your reputation it's very important to be healthy if you want your emails to go into the inbox folder if you have a lot of bounce rates then you may be blacklisted or blocked even by amazon so that's it this almost the basic configuration of amazon SES and how to start working with email marketing with amazon before i end this lecture let's test our server here i have mailwiz already deployed in my environment this is my own server my own vps and mailwiz is installed and hosted as i told you if you want to learn how to get mailwiz install it and configure it just check my description for the free lecture below so simply in servers uh, i have delivery servers here you can add your smtp servers in my case i have already added my server you can see here is my 
SES server, you can set the host name, the username, the password, the protocol, the port, and so on. Very nice. Let's validate the server. Simply say send a test email, validate server. And very nice. It says please check the inbox to confirm the server. So here is my inbox. You can see I have this testing email from HGGate Academy. I sent this test email. Very nice. That's it about Amazon SES. I hope you enjoyed this lecture. You got some benefit. Please, if you have any question, you need any detail, I will be here anytime to help you. Please support me by subscribing to my channel, liking the video, sharing my videos, so I can keep up with you. Thank you and see you later.